Hello everyone. Welcome back to Next Step Immigration. We trust you're doing great today. Are you aware that Australia recently suggested changing its immigration policy in order to recruit qualified workers more quickly and provide them with a path to permanent residency? The Australian government intends to introduce new immigration rules that will incentivize talented migrants to contribute to the local labor market in recognition of the competitive nature of the global talent market. The administration has chosen to resurrect its point-based migration system as part of the program. The Australian government will put new immigration laws into place while keeping in mind how competitive the global talent market is. A points-based immigration system similar to the Canadian immigration system will be implemented in order to attract talented foreign employees to the local labor market. Although a points-based immigration system is already in effect in Australia, there are, however, a few occupation-specific quotas that apply only to certain Australian states and territories. The current points-based system used by Australia is reportedly extremely competitive, drawn out, expensive, and only marginally effective in attracting highly skilled migrants. How will the point-based system be implemented? The government has proposed to rely on state and territory expertise and be backed by enhanced data collection and sharing across government agencies as part of the reform of Australia's migration system. The state and territory system and complicated visa settings included in the points-based systems should be replaced by this point-based approach. What are the other changes? Over the next three to six months, Australia is anticipated to see significant changes to the Australian migration system after the remarks made by Minister of Home Affairs Claire O'Neill at the National Press Conference and the federal budget, some of which include 1. Creating a three-tiered processing structure, highly skilled, mainstream, essential employees, to streamline and simplify the skilled visa program. 2. Adding new routes to permanent residency for people with student visas and those sponsored by employers. 3. Raising the minimum wage standards for those applying for employer-sponsored visas. 4. Tightening the regulations governing student visas to guarantee that students are really enrolled in classes and to meet Australia's labor needs. Changes from the 1st of July, 2023. 1. The income threshold for temporary skilled migration will rise from 53,900 to 70,000 Australian dollars. 2. Over the course of two weeks, international students may work up to 48 hours. 3. Up to December 31, 2023, international students who work in the elderly care industry are free from the 48-hour weekly work cap. 4. Residents of New Zealand will be able to directly apply for citizenship. 5. Some people who have temporary graduate visas under subclass 485 will be allowed to renew them for an extra two years. 6. In addition to the standard CPI hike, the department will charge 6% more for visa applications, but an extra 15% for some tourist and temporary visa subclasses, and 40% for business innovation and investment visas. 7. To ensure the integrity of the migration system, additional enforcement and compliance measures will be put in place. The Australian government proposes to utilize the knowledge of the states and territories and will be assisted by enhanced data collection and government sharing. A change from the intricate visa settings used by the state and territory administrations to a points-based system will be made possible by the switch to a place-based approach. Australia's immigration system is undergoing the most significant change in a generation, which is a migration system for a more secure and affluent Australia, outlining the government's immigration policy. The new system will also be the engine of Australia's economic growth and will be more targeted, more effective, and centered on providing Australians with the outcomes they require. That will be all in this video. Please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell to receive updates on job and immigration news. Thanks for watching. Good luck.